Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am not here with Geeky Sparkle. She is out this afternoon, but we're going to talk about the new My Little Pony movie. Uh, the new generation G5 My Little Pony, the CG movie on Netflix. Yeah. So this movie is all about racism and apparently fascism. So we're going to we're going to talk about that. I haven't seen it yet. A disclaimer. I haven't seen it. I'm just going to react to the reactions to this movie because what what's really interesting about this is the complaints are about or a lot of the complaints are about the fascist imagery in My Little Pony. Even though these are the bad guys, even though this pony is literally orange with Trump hair. I'm not kidding you. He's an orange pony with Trump hair. Okay. <laughs> is this movie is is making people angry because how dare you put any fascist imagery into into any cartoons? Uh, you know this is because that even though they're portrayed as the bad guys. Because this is going back to you know a couple of years ago, we had this ridiculous article from Sci-Fi Wire. That, uh, you know, any, any military uniforms in anime condoned fascism and uh, was going to turn you into a Yahtzee. So we're going to talk about my little Yahtzees uh, here on Clownfish TV. I, I just, I can't anymore. I, I... <sighs> Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 235,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Greatly appreciated. Uh, for sure, I had to take a bad screen cap of the end of this movie because, uh, you know, Netflix won't let you do a screen capture. But yeah, the, the, the bad guy pony does appear to be an orange pony with Trump hair. And uh, he's wearing a fascist uniform. And uh, we're going we're gonna to talk about this because it's making people very angry. Now, the movie is loved by critics. And the audiences, apparently, 100%, 92%. We know that uh, Rotten Tomatoes really means jack shit anymore. But the seven reviews for this movie have been have been positive. You know, probably, uh, probably because the media loves it. The New York Times, My Little Pony, a new generation review. The ponies get political because this is what everybody wanted. The latest entry in the children's franchise pits an eclectic team of progressive ponies against a fear-mongering demagogue and the prejudices of their communities at large. I am not kidding you. The bad guy is an orange pony. <sighs> okay, deep breath. Here we go. Uh, out with the hand-drawn animated ponies and with their creepily anthropomorphized, digitally animated brethren, the new generation, if you will, which includes not only ponies, but pegasi and unicorns from all over Equestria. This My Little Pony movie takes a contemporary spin on the franchise's top friendly tenets of love and friendship by staging a political awakening about tolerance, prejudice, and fascism. Sweetened, of course, with musical numbers, cutesy gags, and pastel vistas. Holy shit. It is everything apparently that we were afraid it was going to be because even the the press release for this movie was like hey guys it's all about the ponies overcoming racism now this is supposed to be a direct sequel to friendship is magic and everybody was getting along in friendship is magic and then they undid it and uh they've gotten way more political cuz we can't just have nice things we can't just have a kids cartoon you know, teaching us about friendship and all that. We got to throw Trump into it. We got to throw fascism into it because that's the way things, that's the way we roll now, right? Now, to be fair, in the 1980s, the My Little Ponies fought Satan, basically. <laughs> you know? So, But those those guys at Sumbo, they were coming off of the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. So they kind of brought some of that, I think, over uh, to the first My Little Pony special. Oh God. Um, yeah. So wait, what we get to the end here? Parents might get a kick out of the film's surprisingly unsubtle references to American politics, something to numb the pain of watching yet another My Little Pony movie, which the kiddies will demand whether you or I like it or not. Yeah. I don't think anybody was asking for ponies to get overly political. Why do you think this is happening? Well, again, this is a platform, a large platform. And also, there's been an attack on bronies for years. Bronies and, and, you know, accusing bronies of being Yahtzees. 
Uh, and of course, you know, the FedEx uh, tragedy, you know, because that that person liked Applejack, that that somehow had something to do with uh, the tragedy that happened. All these news outlets, you know, talking about how racist and awful My Little Pony fans are. So, you know, I, I feel like they're trying to lecture Pony fans. Look at this. My Little Pony fans are ready to admit they have a Yahtzee, a Yahtzee problem. So I feel, I mean, I, I could be off base here, but given all the media attention, hyper-focused on, on My Little Pony fans, bronies, now, you notice they never go after the female fans, on the bronies being awful, that this this movie was probably designed to lecture them, you know, to lecture them like, oh, you know, mm, you guys are just a bunch of racists. You're a bunch of fascists. You are. New York Times even says it's, it's hyper political. So here's the thing. The, again, these are actual images of the fascist ponies in question and their orange leader uh, from the movie. But uh, Twitter is upset that there is fascist imagery at all, even though these characters are shown to be uh, the bad guys. You know, they're hitting you upside the head with it, just in case you didn't notice. Uh, Please don't contact anybody. I'm bringing these tweets up. They're public tweets. Okay. Um, Don't contact anybody. Um, You know, we're not talking about this for you to to harass anyone. Please don't do that. Uh, I just want to talk about where people are at. Uh, on Twitter with it. So uh, this person here, I don't get it. If the villains that remind you of Nazis are clearly portrayed as bad, then what's the problem? And the original tweet was, enjoy the new My Little Pony movie, but holy shit, the Yahtzee imagery hit us like a truck. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Definitely took us out of the movie immediately. It was no way subtle and blatantly obvious, especially toward the end with the unsettling military dictatorship. Again, uh, Trump pony. I guess, I guess he's more, more red, but, uh, yeah, it's, um, Hmm. Hmm. (laughs) Not subtle. It's not subtle. Wait, what? Uh, showing main villain fear mongering, dressing in military attire, the propaganda fear posters at the beginning of the movie, the military marching and assembly and big face posters of the villain being showed behind him while he spoke. Is it anti-Nazi or pro? Well, I think it's supposed to be anti, uh, anti, Nazi, but holy shit. Um, so like a bunch of other kids media, because Yahtzees have formed the stereotype for bad guys in Western media. Uh, take the Lion King as an example. Yeah, Lion King was very unsubtle. And that, actually, that was one of the best numbers in the whole movie. You, you got an idea for how bad Scar was. Um, so yeah, people are, are uh, kind of you know questioning the decisions here. It's a movie about cartoon horses. Um, yeah, here we go. Lion King was pretty bad, but you know, I, I mean, I, I could say, um, I could say that they're really trying too hard to be political. This movie is not going to age well. And I got to tell you, just, just visually looking at this movie when they first started dropping pictures of it, I'm like, this doesn't look like my little pony. These look like the knockoff dollar store ponies. They don't even look like my little pony, my little ponies. Like they don't like the hooves and the whole thing. No, this isn't my little pony. Um, so there we go, guys. It's my little fascist. Uh, <laughs> and it doesn't seem to be making anybody happy except the critics. The critics love it. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this movie does. Again, I haven't watched it. Um, I'm just, you know, I haven't watched it yet. I, I don't have time to sit down for two hours and watch a movie about cartoon horses right now. I got lots of other things to do, like watch He-Man, because He-Man was pretty good. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. If, if there, there's a lot of chatter about this movie, uh, maybe I'll, I'll check it out. I just can't believe that all the talk about this movie has been its politics and fascism. Not something I would have uh, connected with My Little Pony, that's for damn sure. But this is 2021. Everything that's ridiculous is true, even UFOs. So we're going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. We'll talk later.